So my name is Lea Caminana, I'm a PhD student at PSI and I'm originally from Switzerland. I'm working in CMS on, on the pixel detector and I'm also doing an analysis with the data that we will get from CMS. Great. And how long have you been here at CERN? Well, I started my PhD two years ago. And so how long have you got left? Well, one year or two years, we will see. It depends a bit on the data we will get from CMS. Mm -hmm. So you're looking forward, so you worked on both the hardware and now you're going into working on analysis. Yes, exactly. How does it feel to hopefully be able to make use of what you've actually spent so long making? <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be great if that could be possible. Well, that was the basic idea of my PhD, that I actually used the data mm -hmm. I also helped to produce. Great. And what did you do before coming to CERN, before your PhD? Then I was in another collider experiment. I, I did my diploma series in Hamburg at, uh, at the HERA Collider. Mm -hmm. And how do you find the two places compare? Well, it's somehow completely different because um, H1, the experiment was at its ending phase and yeah, the, the people were already thinking about the future and mm -hmm. so it, it was a bit like uh, in the end time. And the, the atmosphere is completely different here. Everybody is looking forward for the new experiment to start and everybody is excited about what is going to happen and so on. Yeah. And how did you first get into physics, and specifically particle physics? Well, it was more or less by chance. Oh yeah? <laughs> After school I had to decide what I want to study, and I was quite interested in physics, so I, I started my, my, my studies in physics, and I, I liked it and stayed with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great and job. for particle physics it was... Yeah, it was with the diploma thesis when I went to Hamburg. I, I liked it very much to, to work in, 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 this, in this collaboration and you learn so much every day and you meet so many new people. Mm -hmm. That's great. Great. And what do you think of, you've said a bit about what it's like with the atmosphere at CERN now. What do you think of the place in general? And obviously you've not moved far to come to Geneva, but do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's... I, I, I'm just spending a few days per month here. Usually I'm mm -hmm. at PSI or, or in Zurich. But yeah, I like it. I've been here in Geneva already when I was a child, so it's it's not that different for me. Mm -hmm. And do you get to travel much in this job? Well, between here and, and, and Zurich, basically, but also if there are some conference, conferences somewhere else. And yeah, that's great. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. And there are also some schools in, in, in particle physics all over the world where you can take part and yeah, mm -hmm. you see quite a lot. And what do you what are you able to get up to when you have any spare time? Do you have any hobbies you like to do or Yeah, basically I like doing sports, I do swimming, skiing and wow. stuff like that. <laughs> Great. But sometimes I also like just doing nothing hanging around, reading books, spend some time with friends. It sounds nice. And where do you ski around here? Mostly in Graubünden, <laughs> in <Yeah>. Switzerland. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you're in a good country for it, definitely. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great. And what, do you, what are your future plans then? I mean, you said there are institutes all over the world where you can do this kind of thing. Yeah. Do you, do you plan to stay in Switzerland or go further afield? Well, right after my PhD, I would like to go somewhere else. I would like to spend, I don't know, one, two years in, in another country to do a postdoc from I'm thinking about going to the US or somewhere, I don't know yet exactly, but I would like to leave and do something else. Mm -hmm. It's a job where there are a lot of opportunities to do that, aren't there? Yeah, true. <laughs> That's pretty good. And so just kind of finally, what do you do as like a day-to-day? -day? What's your, you know, your daily routine? What do you actually do when you're working as a, as a physicist at CERN? Well, if I'm working on my analysis, it's a lot of computer work. So I, I basically, I'm, I'm in my office and I, I am developing software and try to analyze the data and then we have some, every week we have some group meetings with, with the other members of my group which are also working on an analysis and then we discuss our result and try to make progress and so on. And then <coughs> once in a month I, I come here and we, 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 we have shifts for, 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 for the detector. Mm -hmm. So we operate the detector and just basically are in the control room and check that everything works fine. And Great. And you yeah. get to do that as well? Yeah. 
You're in the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Great. And did you get to go down into the actual into the cavern much to, to work on the experiment or see it? Well, yeah, I was there in July. It was quite an intensive period because that's when we installed the detector. So we built out the whole detector at PSI mm -hmm. and then brought it as a whole to, to Geneva, mm -hmm. uh, to, to CERN. And then during one week we installed it into CMS and that was quite exciting. That was mm. A very delicate job, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I and mean, so, yeah, yeah. I was not so sure how it's going to end. I mean, everybody was really mm. nervous and excited. And the, the, the time was quite short to do all the job. And, but in the end it worked well and we were happy about it. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, excellent. All right, thank you. I think that's it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>